Welcome back friends to my playthrough of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we met yet another new member of our party. It's Erdnot Rex who's sitting to the left of our commander John Shepard here and he's a Krogan bounty hunter who shares a common goal with both Shepard and Garrus which is to take down Fist. Now whose fist you ask? Well it's written right here in our mission details. Fist, a crime lord hiding out at a bar called Chorus Den in the lower wards, is meeting with a quarian who has proof Saren is working with the Gith. That proof is why we're here. And yeah, I suspect we will get into some action some shootout any moment now <laughs> and so without any further ado let's get right back into the game it's been a while since we saw some action looks like it shut down yep oh god take cover move to this cover oh god <laughs> I can't see a thing I can't see a thing Rex okay 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 let's go Ooh, we got two over here let's bring out our immunity and actually uh Rex use warp. Yep, damages all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable to further damage. That sounds perfect. But if it's an AoE, maybe we should go over here. We get both of them. Get there. Ooh. Some more. Uh, maybe it's Garrus' turn this time. Overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage. But does it go through walls though? We'll find out, I guess. I don't think it does. Yep. Let's bring out our. here yep oh there's one more there's one more nice 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 area secure area secure good oh I just noticed that there's a some kind of bubble up there I wonder if it's the same bubble that we saw in like uh, Shaira's place. Mm -hmm. Oh! Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Oh, there it is. You already know guys, sometimes, well, most of the times when we got the charm dialogue option, it's what we're gonna go with anyway. So, yeah, I I think we should go with this, right? Like, if there's an opportunity to not shoot, let's not shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. <laughs> okay. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Exactly my point, Garrus. Paragon points. Okay, let's override this. Hi. 
nice. Pistol and shotgun. And a grenade. Nice. Uh, not much of an upgrade though. For anyone. Neither is the pistol. Okay, I mean, we're still hearing battle music, so. What's this? Where are those? Turrets? Ooh, hoo hoo. Sabotage them. Garris, this seems like. Your cup of tea, and then Rex use immunity. Maybe even barrier? Adds a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage. Cannot block attacks that bypass shields. Maybe immunity first. So use overkill, I think. Rex use your barrier. Yep. Nice. Wait, what? Don't kill me, I surrender. Oh, you just need to take out the turrets, I guess? Okay. Where's the quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Hmm. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. Oh. When she shows up. It'll be Saren's men waiting for her. So he set her up. He lied, okay. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Okay. Whoa! What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Oh. <laughs> Great work ethic, I guess, but I mean... We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That we do. Aquarian's dead if we don't go now. Okay. Oh, we're on the clock. Four minutes. Uh, But still, we gotta loot everything first, right? What if we can't get back here or something? Uh, yep, no time to equip them, I don't think. Uh, 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 anything else? Nothing else? Oh, tickle storage disk. Oh, take it, take it. I don't think there's anything else, though. Uh, locked, okay. Red, red light means the door is inaccessible. Okay, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. Oh wait, where did they come from? Why are they generating HP? Okay, let's rush this guy. Uh, turn on. Okay, let's change our weapon weapons first the shotgun and then turn on immunity let's run and okay uh, take out the AR again okay Ooh, less than three minutes Clock guys, uh, warp. Maybe to his left. 
Lingeris. I don't know. Does sabotage work? Oh, that seemed to have worked. Very nice. Two and a half minutes. Ooh, sprint. Okay. Nice job, Garrus. Making sure that we're okay. And you can move on to the next area. Okay. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Ugh. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, she can use grenades. It's like Shepard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, bazookas? Uh... Okay, I think it's a good idea for Rex to use barrier whenever possible, right? I'm gonna go with immunity. Oh, burn shooting her. Okay, good. We're gonna we're gonna waste our overkill. Why is the camera doing that? What? Oh my god, why is the camera why did the camera do that? Like it kept going in and out of aiming. Uh, I mean I suck in shooters, I know that, but God, and we gotta do all of this again. Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. Same loop. I thought for sure that they would be randomized. We did well in the first shootout. Oh, wait, what's with the huh? Csec always turned a blind eye to what went on. First time I was here, I dropped a bundle in the casino. <laughs> got so mad, I put my fist through one of the machines. <laughs> I think we got time, it's just... Wait, what? Why is it not... Okay. God, that was... Frustrating, honestly. Uh... Nice. Okay, uh, let's do the same thing, get our shotgun, uh, use immunity, let's rush this guy. I missed that, god. Uh, bring out the AR again. Let's do the same combination. Uh, warp to the left and sabotage. Uh, wait, sorry, sabotage it. Right on him, actually. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll try not to repeat the mistake of moving too much to the front. Should have just used shotguns, I think. Immunity, shotguns. Kill everybody. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Uh, immunity. What? 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 Now it gets uh, sabotage. No, sabotage the guy. 
Uh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was not highlighting sabotage. Okay. And I actually warp the guy as well. What? I can't use my weapon. Shotgun. Oh, immunity is on cooldown. Okay, let's refresh with adrenaline burst. Okay, use immunity now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Why am I crouching? Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. God, that was intense. First death of the playthrough, by the way. Wonder if we should have a counter or something like that. <laughs> Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Oh, that's a nice line. She's strong, but she appreciates help. That's a dynamic I like to see. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. That was quite tough for me, guys. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... <laughs> Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Okay, that's quite funny. <laughs> I was rambling on and I'm just <laughs> taken by surprise that we have a Quarian friend over here. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. Tali. We don't see many okay. Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Mm. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Ah. Wait, I think we read about this a little bit in one of the Codex entries. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Hmm. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Wow, that must be... Quite their responsibility. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. Mm. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. That's exactly what we're looking for. Nice job, Tally. Does that mean she was on Eden Prime as well, or... Can she do that? Could she have done that from a different... System? Like, from a different place, because... The Geth have some sort of a hive mind going on. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Hmm. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. 
Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I don't think they sound familiar. Maybe I missed something, but I think this is our first time hearing about them. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Oh. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Uh, this all says the same thing, and this is the way I want to say it. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. Oh. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. <laughs> Odina's excited. Wait, so the Geth wants the eradication of all the other races? In the hands of the Reapers? The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Mm -hmm. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. <laughs> you saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I mean... What you, Tali, saw in the alley is... Me tumbling over my own two feet. And you guys tried to pick up the slack, but I died. So, yeah. <laughs> I think she will be a fine addition to our team. <laughs> to cover my various weaknesses. I mean, all of my party members do that, so. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Ah. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Tali is making very good points. I'll take all the help I can get. Exactly. That was what I was trying Thanks. to say. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Oh, what was that sound? Ah, uh, so what's Tally's specialty? Ooh, tech. Okay. Oh, we need biotics to round our team. Out? Yeah. Aiden Rex. Hmm. Rex and Tali? But if we're going to go into the hearing again, I kind of want to go with our original members for some reason. Uh, and we have one more team member here. I'm guessing she's the full biotic one then. Uh, the as of yet uh, grayed out member over here between Caden and Rex. So Ashley and Caden or Rex and Tali? Kind of go. I kind of want to go with Ashley and Caden again now that I think we're done with the action and we tried out uh, Rex and Garrus. I kind of want to go back to Caden and Ashley. So. Hey, it's been a while, guys. Now, I believe we leveled up just now. Ooh, lots of things to check out. Let's begin with journal. Return to the tower. You should be there when the ambassador presents the Corian's evidence to the Citadel Council. Return to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium. Okay, we got a bunch of assignments though. 
Oh, what's this? There's an update for this? Oh! The optical storage drive. Okay, go to the upper wards to deliver it to her. Okay. Uh, so, at least one assignment in the wards for us. Okay, let's level up first. Four points. Hmm. Four points. Advanced adrenaline burst. Advanced immunity. Hmm. We can also unlock shotguns. We don't use pistols that much though. We can go all the way up here, but no, no I mean we cannot reach it just just yet. Oh, what am I think? What am I thinking? Of course, heavy armor first. Okay, you may now equip heavy armor. Ooh, three more points. I'm guessing one, two, and then one here, huh? Okay. Very tanky. Shepherd. And also damage from assault training talent. Okay, I'm liking this. So one. Restores bigger portion of shield. Nice. And then one, two. Reduces recharge time so adrenaline burst can be used more often. Nice. To refresh our overkill and a uh, immunity. Not too shabby. Okay, Kaden. Eight. Oh, he was uh, benched, so to speak, last time we leveled up. Mm, eight points. Uh, we can open up new skills here. Unlock lift. Stasis is the disabling skill, right? Yeah, makes the target unable to move or attack, but also immune to damage. Whereas the lift is... Well, lifts everything within 4 meters of the target into the air, rendering enemies immobile and unable to attack. Drops them and it expires. Ooh, so we can take them out of covers and stuff. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Where's the 8th point? Where does the 8th point go in there? I kind of want to get this too. Ooh, decisions, decisions, guys. I think we should get lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lifts and suspends enemies in the air so they are unable to move or attack. Nice. And you know what? Go here for the eighth. Advanced throw. Increases the force of throw to a thousand newtons. Increases the size and strength of the mass effect field and allows you to throw more often. Nice. All of a sudden, Cadence uh, biotic powers are upgraded. <laughs> Used to be more of a tech uh, specialist before. Since we were prioritizing getting decryption and electronics. But I think we can... Uh, we can manage for now with, uh, yeah, the using the decryption and electronics on easy objects for a while. At least that's the hope, right? Once we saw medium ones, we hardly can only go with decryption for now. And there's always Omni Gel, so okay. Let's go to Ashley. Also eight points. Let's get that immunity first. Yep. Growth immunity. Uh, combat armor for that heavy. First aid unlocked. Yeah. Oh, two more points. Uh, yeah, let's go. Ad mm. Yeah, let's go advanced shield boost. 
and what else? Assault training, assault rifles. Hmm. It's kind of like a setup for the next level, right? Get the advanced adrenaline burst. Wait, what were shepherds look like again? What did shepherds look like again? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't go with assault rifle. Uh, no, assault training. I think this talent, like increasing damage and accuracy, only applies to assault rifles, right? Whereas this one is global. Yeah, let's go with this. And it's a setup for the next level too, to get advanced adrenaline burst. Okay, and uh, equipment. Improved sighting, toxic seals, shield regenerator, combat sensor. All looks nice. Let's check out those armor upgrades. Wait, I'm using toxic seals right now? Let's use shield regenerator. Kinda need it. As a soldier. Improved sighting 3. Ooh. Combat sensor 2. Improved sighting 2. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're gonna stay with. We're gonna keep using heat sink. And for our. Oh! Wait, what? This was our weapon, right? I think. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and then let's use. Ah, uh, this better upgrade. For our shotgun, though. Hmm. I don't think we need these upgrades like matches a shotgun, I don't think. Ashley though. Uh armor piercing rounds. She got combat sensor already, let's upgrade that. Two combat sensor two. And let's put some improved sights. Oh, what? On her sniper rifle. What about ammo upgrades? No ammo upgrades. Okay, now codex entries. Uh, nope, no primary ones. Okay, next we sort out which assignments we're gonna go for now. Uh, this one's uh, down in the wards. Let's go deliver this uh, OSD to Emily Wong. And we can actually go back to the... I hope we can. Yeah, go back to the course then to meet with the general. Yeah, okay, so let's head down to the wards. Wonder if there are new things for us to discover in this office. Doesn't look like it, so let's go down to the wards. Oh, yeah, forgot. That door is closed, this one. It's the one to go with. Oh! Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Uh... New people. We got a new person over here. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Patia. 
Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Mm -hmm. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your oh. wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Oh, we heard about Nirali Bhatia actually in the elevators. In the 212. Yeah, Ashley was the chief of 212. Oh, nice. It's nice that we got Ashley for this conversation. Nice, nice, nice. Uh huh. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. That's too bad. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Okay, Thank we know the time. bar. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Of course, dude. Of course. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Did you see me go anywhere? <laughs> Okay, let's just investigate some stuff first. Tell me again what you'd been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. Okay, okay. Where can I find this, Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Okay, not much more to investigate. Not yet. I'll be back when I have more to tell you. Thank you, Commander. Okay, we know the bar. It's the bar where Private Fredericks was in. I don't see anyone named Oscar, I don't think. Maybe he just arrived there, just like uh, Samesh. Or, yep, exactly. No one was leaning on this wall before. Okay. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Hmm. Let's get straight to the point. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Uh, what? You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Oh, I don't know, man. I want to investigate first, but I hope we're not going to lose the chance to go with this option. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. A year? You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. I don't quite get that. Why only release this one then? If we're gonna go with this option for this body, why not the other bodies? Maybe there were there are no surviving members to release the body. Two? In other cases, I'm not sure. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Yeah, I don't know, man. A year is too much. Not to mention the idea of experimenting on the body, which I don't think 
uh, the alliance asked permission to the uh, surviving family members for yeah I'm gonna go with this one I think I understand what you're trying to do but holding the body is wrong commander you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity hmm not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm uh. out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Bosker's got conscience. Nice. Some Paragon points. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard situation, man. But it was interesting that the charm dialogue options is more like was more stern. Not that we saw the other choices, but usually the charm dialogue option is the mo the more well charming ones, right? More diplomatic and stuff. Okay, let's talk to Ashley about about this. What does she think about this? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. She got no special dialogue. Big place. Or after that conversation with Bosker. Okay, let's go back to Sumesh. Like maybe if the Alliance uh, ask for permissions first and maybe if it's not like a year maybe it would have worked out but that's not the case here. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I hope so, dude. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. Oh. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Oh, that's nice. I'm really glad we got Ashley with us to do that. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. That was this one, right? Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hmm. Uh, a thousand, five hundred. More XP to level up. Uh, we are going to the wards, actually. I wonder how much money we have. Did we make? Did we make some money out of those missions? Somewhat, yeah. Almost three thousand credits we have now. Okay. Going to the wards. to deliver the optical storage drive to Emily Wong. I guess I could have used the <laughs> Citadel Rapid Transit, huh? I kind of forgot, but now we get to hear the elevators. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. Mm. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I was wondering. Won't the Krogans celebrate that too? They're kind of like the key element of that victory.
So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Nice. I like listening to those conversations. Again, just even more a uh, way to immerse you into the world, you know? In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Understandable. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Mm. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Eden Prime was supposed to be a peaceful farming world though. And the Geth came out of nowhere. Well, it came from beyond the Perseus Veil, I guess. Emily! Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. Hey, thanks. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? I actually did. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Hey, thanks. What's this one? Uh, okay, let's just go with this one. <laughs> what would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Hey, okay. <laughs> you talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, that's some extra reward, some kind of like business deal. I thought it was like <laughs> flirting or something. I didn't mean to flirt. Okay, good to know that that was not what was happening. Okay. Shepard is kind of like the shrewd uh, businessman <laughs> at times, apparently. Okay, uh, any other things we can do here? There's quite a lot, but I'm kind of nervous, guys. About the charm talent. It happened with the preaching Hanar before. Like, we couldn't get uh, charm dialogue options until we went back to him. Uh, so, uh, when we first met him, our charm was at 3. We couldn't get the charm dialogue option, then we upgraded it to 5. But now it's blocked at 5. We cannot go further. I would not like a repeat of that, but I don't know. Let's see, yeah, I remember. Let's uh, try to talk with uh, General Septimus down in Chorus Den. I hope we can go to Chorus Den again, and it's not like. The place is not like dead after our shootout there. Oh, I hear some music. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Where we're to in general is. I think we talk with all these people, right? Oh, okay. Let's talk to the general. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, general? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me! Me! Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet! Come on, dude. <laughs> Maybe chill out a little bit. I think I can see why you're yeah. upset. Yeah. 
but spreading these lies won't make it better. Exactly. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's go. Let's go with this. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? <laughs> nice. Oh, boy. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Yeah, we all got one of those days, man, where we make bad judgments, but most of the time we can recover so yeah even Shaira alludes to that like General Septimus is a good man he's just getting through some rough times as of late this is no place for someone of your stature general all right I'll go to her after I've had a cold shower or two <laughs> say you're a bright kid would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. <laughs> I just need you to convince him of the truth. Oh, uh, we knew this. Uh, it's Zeltan. Up in the uh, Presidium. In the Volus and Elcor embassies. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Mm. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. Yep. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Exactly. Good luck, General. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Thank you. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Hey, man. That's because you don't understand women, kid. <laughs> yeah, that sometimes happens. Okay. Speak to Zeltan. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you were on this assignment. And speak with Shaira. In any case, we should go back to the procedure. I think we talk with these people, right? I wonder if we can go here. After all that, maybe we missed a couple of things. I don't think we do, but... Very hard to check, you know? Oh, good. I thought we couldn't... Get back here. It sometimes happens, you know. Uh, in RPGs or in games in general, rather. There's this important place and you can't go back there. Mm, curious. Let's talk to Harkin. I don't think there's gonna be any updates, but it would be interesting to talk with him with when we bring Garrus in our party, I think. Go away. So, yeah, let me, yeah. Let me drink it. Oh wait, but maybe he got more dialogue. He's got more dialogue. Go away. Never mind. Let me, let me drink it. What about this guy? I think he had something to do with fist last time. Maybe he changed his dialogue now. I got business here, but not with you. Human military. Not now. Why don't you go watch the dancers? <laughs> I got business ah, here, but no. I misremembered. And there was Jenna. We had an assignment with her. Uh, but we gotta go talk to Ch Ch Chalik in the CSEC Academy. But in any case, let's go back to the Presidium, guys. Uh, yeah, let's use the Citadel Rapid Transit. Medium locations, embassies. 
can never be bored looking at the words. It's like this, out into space, looks awesome. So when we made our landing approach aboard the Normandy, we could have seen it from the, people could have seen it from the Citadel, I guess. Okay, Zelton, I'm coming to solve your problems, my dude. This is really not a good time. Trust me, dude, I'm gonna make your day. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Oh. Could be. You might want to set up like two factor authentication or something like that, my man. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Oh, okay. Believed. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. You're welcome, man. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Mm hmm I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Good luck, my dude. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Well, true. I got rewards and stuff. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. It was a good thing you did. Regardless of your intentions. Mm, always a pleasant time talking with our Elcor friends. But Din Korlak over here is also right. <laughs> Actually got something out of it. We got all that sweet, sweet paragon points, I think. Wonder if they got any updates. Surprised welcome. You have returned, human. Genuine inquiry. What may I do for you this day? Ooh. I don't think... Oh, I didn't quite remember. Did we talk with him about these points? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. I remember having this kinds of conversation with Din, actually. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Yeah, we asked these questions to Din. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Mm-hmm. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Good for you. 
I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Nice. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Thank you. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it now? Yeah, we talked with Din about all of this, so. Yeah. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Okay, uh, let's go to the consort to Shayura. Oh, <laughs> what happened with this Asari lady? She just suddenly uh, changed the directions of her running like that. <laughs> Doesn't seem like something NPCs normally do. Arrived here. I went very often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah, ever since this took over, I don't go anymore. It seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The embassy lounge isn't bad, but they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. Mm. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. Interesting. So we heard them. Oh. We heard them talking about something else before. It was about the keepers, I guess. Now they're talking about something else, so... Maybe worth it to listen to the people we have listened to before for new conversations and stuff. Hey, Nelina! Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. The consort is waiting to speak with you. Uh huh. The consort is waiting to speak with you. Oh, okay. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working, hmm. but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. I think we took note of this, right? That this attendant is the only human one. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. So it's interesting to know that they have this conversation about the very same issue, uh, not issue, the very same thing. The consort is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. So you got only two lines. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Please, relax and enjoy yourself. Human military? You'll enjoy it here, I think. At ease, officer. This is a place of peace. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Okay, so she says the same th the same things as last time. 
Only last time there was a uh, Volus, uh, well, patron, I guess. Yeah, there was a Volus man talking with her. Okay, let's meet with Shaira. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with me. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Oh, we're summarizing both assignments. Cool. It was my honor to aid you. Hey. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Oh. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. Oh. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Nice. Very astute. It's kind of like, I know I'm dope. <laughs> thank you. Just like, thank you. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Very like, I don't know. This is like ungrateful, right? Wait, but our words all that we get? I don't really know. But uh, that's it? Really? Yeah. Very astute. You have quite a gift, Chaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Oh. In light of your efforts with the Alcor ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Oh, see? She gives us something more. Even without us going like, that's it? <laughs> what is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And oh. now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I couldn't quite, quite catch... Just what are the things that we got? Oh, we actually did quite a few assignments, guys. Hmm, wonder what that mystery is that we got. Trinket, she said, but can we find it in our equipment or something? I don't really know. So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this Again, why does the, di the dialogue cut out at the very end? So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. That time it was... Correct. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. That's a grim thing to sure talk about. Here. And we're not actually looking at the lake. Oh, we can close the door. Weird thing to get excited about, but I think we are not gonna be able to return to that room. Right? Let's see. Yup, that room is closed forever. Goodbye, Shaira. Oh my god. We saw this guy last time. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Mm-hmm. How about Nelina? Does she have something new to talk about? Ooh. Hello again. The consort is very pleased with everything that you have done for her. <laughs> can I get an appointment now? Any chance I can move up on her client list? I did help her out. 
Yeah, she is grateful for your assistance. However, you have already been rewarded for helping her. The client list is a separate matter, and her schedule is completely booked for the next several months. I can see where they're coming from. Okay. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. Ah. Uh, okay, 1,100. Like, 1,100 more to level up. Nice, nice, nice. Any more assignments that we can do? Only three left. And I think... Hmm, we just passed the... Uh, not just, it's been like 10 minutes since we passed the one hour mark. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm thinking we go with the mission first. And then after that, we're gonna go finish these three assignments. Maybe we'll find some more. I'm not really sure. But yeah. So in the next episode, we're gonna do this. Return to the tower. You should be there when the ambassador presents the Corian's evidence to the Citadel Council. Return to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium. I think I read the, that task details before. Yeah, uh, we met a new party member, Tali. Uh, she's not currently in the party right now though, but... Yeah, I'll figure something out. I just want to run with uh, Ashley and Kaden for a while and... It worked out really nicely on that assignment with uh, Mr. Samesh Bhatia. Okay, I think uh, I'm gonna wrap this episode up now. Uh, thank you very much as always for watching right up till the end. And I'm always looking forward to see all of you in the next episode of my playthrough of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. See you next time, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!